Okay guys, welcome back. Today what I'm going to be doing is removing the CPU out of the original Nintendo. Here it is right here. It's overheating, so I am going to remove it and put it in my chip reader. So I've got the, my trusty Hako. So let's dig in. Okay, so here's the chip right here. It's 40 pins, and here are all the pins right here. So let's begin. So, the CPU should come out. Let me grab my uh, screwdriver here. There we go. Alright, there's still a lot of solder on uh, a few of these pins here. So let me just uh All right, let's just break the connection with my screwdriver here. Real lightly. Try not to damage any traces. See if that worked. I still see solder on some of these legs here. Add some solder to some of these points here. Okay, hopefully it comes out now. One side. And the second side. So here's the CPU. Extracted from the Nintendo right here. So there's a there's a hole or two that I should probably clean up because because after I'm done here, I'm going to uh, install a socket. Okay, so I'm going to take the CPU and I'm going to read it. First, I'm going to get a socket, an IC socket, and match up the notch with the notch on the picture here. Okay, 
looks good. Let's see if any pins are bent. Everything looks good on this socket. So let's try to put it back in here. Put it in here. Okay. I'm not going to solder this in this video. I'll solder that in another video. So what I want to do is take this chip and I want to read it on my USB programmer. Oh, sorry about the camera. Got about a minute left, so I'll add part two and here's uh, the GQ4X True USB Universal Programmer. And I'm going to read it on my computer and hopefully dump what's ever on here and uh, in the future I'll be getting uh, some EEPROMs I'll copy the EEPROM uh, the CPU data onto EEPROM and hopefully it should be good to go alrighty guys thanks for watching have a good one